Five, four, three, two, one. Hello humans, it's Retro Rocket Man here again, and today I'm going to tackle painting and customizing a wriggling hand. It's a novelty item that dates back to 1983. I've had it for at least 35 plus years, and surprisingly it still works. You may notice that it's um, pretty much the same size as my own hand, although it's not a cast in my hand, but the skin tones are way too yellow and flat. I'm going to have a go at repainting the skin, repainting the hand to make it um, look more realistic. It does have these nasty seam lines from when it was made. Uh, there's not really too much I can do about that, given my limitations, but I'll have a go anyway. It comes with a battery pack, holds two C-cell batteries, and this is what powers the mechanism. I'm going to start off by trying to mix up some oil paints I'm using and try and match it to my skin tones relatively closely and uh, just brush it on, see how we go. Brushing, brushing, just working it in, working it all over the surface. Anybody's skin tones often has different, lots of different imperfections in the skin, and uh, the oil paint, although it looks quite glossy, even quite shiny at the moment, it will dull as it dries. Just work that paint into the surface all over, brushing it in, smoothing it out, and letting it dry. After a couple of days, because oil paint takes a while to dry, and it's probably not totally dry even as I'm holding it now, it still has a lot of patchiness to it, which is fine because I'll be building on that and working on it. And you can see the difference between the back of the hand and the palm. The original colour looks quite yellow compared to the new paint job. And by changing up the colour, making it a bit deeper in the reds, I'm just stippling it onto certain pressure points on the on the hand to show the uh, different colours that we all have on our skin. And again, just brushing, brushing, building on layers to get it to an acceptable level. To accentuate the veins that are apparent on the on the hand, I'm just using a blue Staedtler Mars Lumicron. It's a very subtle effect on the on the skin. Obviously, veins are supposed to look like they're under the skin, so I don't want to make it too obvious. And I'm just lightly penciling it on and then blending it with my finger, rubbing it back a little bit. This is a subtle process, but it all adds to the realism. I'm repeating the same process on the palm, just some subtle veins running underneath the surface of the skin.
I've just put in some white on the nails. This is just to lighten the uh, contrast of the nail from the nail to the skin. And this is a thinned down version of the white oil paint and I'm just brushing on like I'm doing my nails. Oh look, I've got French tips. Now I'm punching some hair into the back of the hand to add to the realism. This process is quite tedious, it's so just a matter of getting synthetic hair, like doll's hair, and with a single needle punch into a bunch of hair, there's a barb on the needle that grabs the hair and pushes it into the rubber and then leaves it behind as you pull it out. You can uh, grab a couple of hairs at the same time using this method to make the plug look thicker and, and heavier, but I'm trying to be careful not to be too heavy. As I said before, this is a tedious process, but in, in some ways it's quite fun and just seeing the, the uh, impact that the hair makes to the finished product. Punching, punching, punching. Set it up to show you in time lapse how it just gradually builds and builds and um, obviously different people have different amounts of hair on the back of their hand. I myself have hands like a werewolf so that's the look I was after. And here we have the finished punched hair on the hand, it makes it look a lot more realistic hand has uh, the trademark and the copyright and the year 1983 stamped on. Now I've made a mock-up of, of the exposed wiring and internal workings, if you like, of a cyborg hand. And this is the look I'm going after. And I found an old extension lead plug and just stuffed some wires and tubes into it. Just to make it look mechanical as opposed to a real organic hand. And it seems to fit quite snugly. Yes, and after 37 years, it still works. Amazing. Not bad for a cheap novelty item, and it goes left and right. More like a walking hand than a wriggling hand, in my opinion. Creepy stuff.
So there you have it, fellow humans. This is my customization of a wriggling hand into the hand of a cyborg. I'm quite happy with the way this one turned out. I say that every time. It, um, it does look kind of creepy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Retro Rocket Man, over and out.